Welcome, Linda Lord here. Our second movement to music recording is a little bit slower and a little more somber. So I want you to remember the things that we talked about last time. You can make your movements big, or you can make them small. You can make them fluid or you can make them sharp. You can make them high, you can make them low, you can make them expansive. Listen to the music, let the music wash over you. I'm not gonna move this time. Uh, I used the example the first time, so I'm just going to play the music for you a few times. And I want you to think about what does this music, what's the story this music is trying to tell you that your body is then expressing. And then I want you to think about what you would call this piece of music if you had to name it. Here we go. Apologize for that. Let's try that again. Here's your music. Very different rhythm this time. Very different tempo. How does it speak to you differently? And we're going to play that through one more time, letting your body tell the story and then telling you yourself what it is you would name this song if you could. Here we go. And the last portion of this song for you. Music tells a story. What is the song telling you? How did you express it through movement with your body? And what would you call this song if you had to name it?